solved already, uh, but I just want to do a quick recap. Given that un smaller than 4, you are to show un smaller than un plus 1. And in your solution, what did we do? We considered un minus un plus 1. And then we eventually show that this is smaller than 0. Correct? We eventually show that it is uh, negative. Correct? That's our approach. Okay, eventually we show that this is we show that this is negative. Show this. It eventually this is negative. That's our approach so far. How do we show it? It's all in there. We have gone through last week. I'm not gonna go through. And how do we show it? We use an algebraic approach. Okay, now let's look at it in another way. Don't look at your notes yet. Let's all look up for now. Now Let's do this on a fresh page. Now, remember when we considered un minus un minus un plus 1, correct? Yes? And we say that this is equals to un minus uh, 5un plus 4, plus 4 over un plus 2. Correct? Yes? Of course, un plus 1 is that. No problem. And we eventually show that by algebraic approach, dot, 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 smaller than 0. Actually, what do we want to show? We want to show that this is negative. That's all we want to do. For what? For un smaller than 4. Correct? We want to show that this smaller than 0 for un smaller than 4. So far, so good. And we did it in example 10, part 3. Okay, maybe I write it down. Huh? We want, no need to copy, I just want to write it up. To show un minus 5un plus 4 over un plus 2, small as 0, or un small as 4. Now, what is un? un is just a variable can i say this can i say we also we want to show a minus 5a plus 4 over a plus 2 smaller than 0 or a smaller than 4 are they the same thing are they the same thing yes of course they are the same thing so instead of writing a i can say i want to show that x minus 5x plus 4 over x plus 2 smaller than 0 or x smaller than 4. Are they the same thing? Yes. So instead of doing an algebraic approach, can we sketch this graph and let it be y equals and observe that this graph lies below the x-axis for x smaller than 4. Get it or don't get it? Get it, huh? So this is what we call the graphical approach, which is in the last part of the notes, example 11. Let's take a look at example 11 now. Okay. All I have said so far are all mentioned here. Okay. Okay. That's all I say. All I have said is in that paragraph there. Okay, because we want to show this, we actually want to show this. It is no different from showing this. Just a change in variable. How do we do it? We sketch a graph. Okay, so follow me very closely. Not much copying, but just follow me quite closely. So, let's go down. Eh? So what do we do? We sketch the graph of y equals x minus 5x plus 4 over x plus 2. Can we sketch this graph? Can? Shouldn't be too difficult. After you go to your GC, you sketch it. You need to sketch the graph for your presentation. All right, you need to sketch the graph, and this is actually not good enough. You better label minus four, 
zero here. Hey, eh, sorry, four. I'm so sorry. Four zero here. And minus one zero here. All right. Uh, this y intercept you can label, don't label, never mind, let's for completeness uh, label it, which is, uh, what is it? Uh, let me see, minus 2. 0, minus 2. Zero. Okay, better label. Okay, now what do we want to observe? We want to observe that from the graph, for x smaller than. 4, it is obvious for x smaller than 4 and larger than 0, the graph lies below the x-axis. So this is the observation that we want to make. When x is between 0 to 4, the graph lies below the x-axis. What does it mean for us? It means that the y values are negative, which means that this is negative for x between 0 and 4. Now, can I say something? Why do we include this x must be greater than 0? Because in the question, it says un smaller than 4. But actually, you read carefully, un is also always positive. It's a positive sequence. All the terms are positive. You all recall? Recall or don't recall? Recall, huh? Okay, maybe I quickly go up just for some of us. This is, yeah, look here. Example 10 is the same question. I look here. UN plus 1, these are all positive. There are no negative numbers, and the first term is positive. So you put 2 in, you will get a positive number. Correct? U2 will be positive. You put Another positive number here, u3 will be positive. You put another positive number here, u4 will be positive. So all the un are all positive. Follow so far. So, therefore, from the graph, huh? presentation here, from the graph, from the graph, the graph lies before x between 0 and 4, the graph lies below x axis. Therefore, this is negative then substituting x with un then we say oh okay this is negative then we say replace this with un plus one therefore this is negative therefore un smaller than un plus one not much copying but i hope you get the idea is that all right